She and I used to talk about the boy she would marry. She would get a dreamy smile and look into the puffy white clouds and conjure up some days with the man of her dreams. But inside, I was always thinking to myself that I just couldn't believe there could be a match to Kyla's kindness, generosity, temperament, and warm golden soul. But Kyla told me about a guy who worked at 909 some seven and a half, eight years ago. She didn't say very much about him, but Kyla, her eyes kind of are like an open book, and I knew the second I looked at her. That dreamy look that I recognized from so many dreamy talks in the back past seemed to be appearing on her face more and more often. James, on this day seven years ago, you asked me to be your girlfriend. Two years ago, you asked me to be your wife. To be here today is such a dream come true. I love your drive and your thirst for life. I love that you try to squeeze so much into every hour and make the most out of each day. Your quiet confidence and grace, your natural leadership and the energy that you bring to everyone around you. It was here. Well, right down memory lane. I mean, Fifth Avenue in downtown Pittsburgh and that, and I was immediately struck by your beauty, your eyes, your smile, when I fell in love. If that's not love at first sight, then I'll never know. I fell in love with who you were, just as you were, just as you are. Your warmth and genuine personality, your ability to make someone, anyone, feel like they belong. Promise to be a wife who supports you and your dreams, cheers at every finish line, and truly feels your happiness and sadness as my own. I promise to put you in the front of every decision I make. Promise to love you even in the difficult times, to always maintain that as long as we have each other, we have everything. I vow to be the best wife, I vow to grow individually and together as we have grown the past seven years forever. I vow to do a whole lot of amazing everything with you. Most importantly, I vow to love you more and more every day. So proud of the man that you've become and I'm so, so excited to be yours. I love you always and forever and I'll always remember the rest of this life. On this day, I vow to be committed to you, your passion, your compassion. Pursue the life we want as your best friend. I vow to be faithful to you, to protect you, to love you, and make you feel so loved every day as your husband, to be a patient and loving father. Today we come together, today our families come together, and together is a great place to be. Forever and always, no matter what, I love you. I never thought there would be anyone that was enough for Kyla. She's intelligent, she's beautiful, she's funny, especially when she's laughing at her own jokes, and adventurous. However, I'm extremely excited to say that I was wrong, and Kyla found an incredible friend and love when she met you. You two set the standard for how a loving relationship should be, and I can't wait to continue to see you guys do so in your marriage. I know you two will enjoy the adventure of love and life together, and as long as you continue to love and respect one another, that adventure will last your lifetime.
They never do anything halfway. In the past few months, Kyla has started a new job. They moved into their first home, got married, I think you guys were there, and head to Europe on Sunday. My mom used to always say, catch it James, at baseball, or run fast, score, at soccer, as if those weren't obviously the intentions whenever he was playing. Well, I almost think I saw her whisper under her breath today, marry her James. A quote that I think that they know, but wanted to share as newlyweds. May you never steal, lie, or cheat. If you must steal, then steal away each other's sorrows. And if you must lie, lie with each other all the nights of your life. And if you must cheat, then please cheat that. I wish you to continue to grow in love. And to my kid brother James and his new wife Kyla, the luckiest couple in town. Cheers. to an incredible bride, a woman of beauty, kindness, intelligence, and sincerity. You are now James's official caretaker, and I will no longer take any responsibility for him or his actions. James, your eagerness, loyalty, inhuman athleticism and fitness levels, never-ending good vibe, and hashtag YOLO swagger. Convinced Kyla to marry you. You're so lucky, and I'm not sure how you did it, but you did. Don't look back. So let's have a toast, this time Swancha, to my best friends, James and Kyla Sullivan. Cheers, and may the best man win.